Hey guys, this is Brendan with Gone Mobile Vans. We're here at our shop in Costa Mesa, California. Behind me is our demo van. We've got a couple different options for Starlink that we'd like to show you. We've got a Mini and we've got a Generation 3. We're gonna talk about some pros and cons to both. Prices, weight, portability, things like that. Let's get into it. So first up is gonna be the Generation 3. This is already mounted into a star mount, quick release mount uh, enclosure. Ugh. This is the Generation 3. So. Um, it's quite large. It's almost a foot and a half by two feet. In this case, uh, this is a really nice case from Star Mount. It's a machine polycarbonate case and a metal quick release. This thing is well over 30 pounds already. Um, not really portable. It's great to be able to flat mount on your roof or your van, have it set up in there, permanent setup. Um, pretty nice, but definitely heavy and large. Next up is gonna be the Starlink Mini. So this is the Mini. It's uh, obviously much smaller, much lighter weight. This is in a case from Stryker Fabrications. Instead of machined like this one, it's a 3D print plus an aluminum backing, magnet feet if you want, uh, a couple different options for this regards, but much smaller, uh, much more portable. You could backpack this, you can easily set it up on the dash of your car, things like that. Way easier to set up and move around. Lightweight, yeah, really pretty cool. It's only about the size of a laptop, so easy to even slip into your backpack or something along those lines. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Starlink Generation 3. We've just plugged it in. We have to use a power supply to kick it up from 12 volts all the way up to 48 volts for the Generation 3. So here we are. We've just plugged it in. It's been fluctuating between 50 and 110 watts quite a bit of fluctuation in that, and I'm sure it depends on how much internet usage you're using as well, but it's a pretty high draw. So now let's hop over to the Mini and see what that draws. Now we've just plugged in the Starlink Mini. As you see, we don't need a power supply to kick up the voltage. It's really only drawn around 20 to 25 watts, which is ultimately less than the Generation 3. The Generation 3 was up over 100 at times. This has not gone above 30, 35 watts. So potentially a, a third of the power consumption. The Generation 3 obviously fluctuates as well as the Mini, but right off the bat, the Starlink Mini has definitely got a, an advantage on power draw. All right, here we are on a freshly installed roof rack. Not all the panels are in and we don't have our solar panels mounted yet, but this is a good indication of how big the Starlink Generation 3 is and how we would mount it to the roof rack. This has got the star mount quick release mount and this will get, the quick release mount will get bolted directly to the roof rack, but you can see quite the size. It'll, uh, it takes up a good portion of your available space up on your, here on your roof rack. Really nice setup for the, the from star mount quick to release it if you want to take this out and go move it to a different vehicle or set it up permanently at a campsite for a week, something along those lines. But it's a big unit and it takes up quite a bit of your roof rack. So here we are with the Starlink Mini. This is mounted in a mount from Stryker Fabrication. This has got some magnet feet on there. So if you're using it on a different vehicle that doesn't have a roof rack, it could magnet on there. But otherwise, we're gonna direct bolt this to the roof rack as well. You can see how much smaller it is. It fits right next to your max fan. It can fit into a little corner of the roof rack. So it really doesn't take up any more space than necessary. Once again, pretty easy to disassemble or remove if you need a uh, couple of bolts and the whole thing comes out if you wanna set it up permanently someplace else. But overall, a much smaller footprint. So the Generation 3 in the star mount is 26 inches long by 17 and a half inches wide, which is a pretty decent size. The Starlink Mini overall is 12 and a quarter inches long by 11 and 3 eighths inches wide. So probably a, a less, about a third of the size. All right, so for Gen 3, let's talk about how you need to be able to run this off of 12 volts from your van battery. So the Generation 3, from, right from Starlink, requires it to be run off an AC outlet, 110 volts. So you can get a third-party 12-volt conversion. So Star Mount makes them, Trio Flat Mount makes them. There's a couple others. You can also find parts on eBay, things like that for that but you ultimately need a box here. In this case, we sent in the modem, they build it, they take it apart, they build it into this box, which then gets plugged into the Starlink. You need a power supply that takes 12 volts from your van battery and kicks it up to 48 volts to make this run. So all of this included was several hundred dollars to get this to run off of 12 volts natively from your van battery. In comparison, the Starlink Mini 
comes with a power supply from Starlink that runs off an of AC outlet, but it really only requires 12 volts natively to run. So you can take get a cable from a bunch of different vendors off of Amazon, plug it into a cigarette adapter with a little barrel connection, plug it in and it works right off the bat. So no third party integration, not relying on somebody else to make something work. It just plugs in and works right away. So cost wise, this right out of the box, you're looking at maybe a $12 cable versus several hundred dollars to get the Starlink Generation 3 to run off of 12 volts natively from your van. All right guys, so now let's talk about hardware costs. So initial costs for the Starlink Mini, you're looking at $599 for the hardware directly from Starlink. Conversely, the Generation 3 has been dropped in price. It was $599 as well, it went to $499, now it's $299 for the hardware for the Generation 3. So right off the bat, Generation 3 is gonna cost you less. However, as we discussed earlier, we're talking about being able to run this natively off your van. It does require more hardware, more cost to get the Generation 3 to do what the Generation, the Starlink Mini does right off the bat. And let's talk about plans. Here we are looking at the Mobile Regional or the Mini Roam. So either one of these things, you're looking at $150 a month for the Generation 3. It is a start and stop plan. You can start it and stop it as you need to. You don't have to commit to 12 months at a time but it's $150 a month. You can see the plans for the Mini. You can get the Mini Roam, which is the 50 gigabytes for 50 bucks. But if you are a power user or you're full-time remote working, things like that, you need to be on Zoom half the time, you can get the regional plan, which is $150 a month for the Mini. So you can still get the same amount of data, unlimited data with the Mini if you prefer. So let's talk about our conclusions and recommendations. So in conclusion, either one of these things are awesome for mobile internet and for getting out in your van. We love the ability to be able to be on meetings, to communicate with friends, to Netflix, whatever you gotta do while you're on the road in your van. Either option is fantastic. We do think that the Starlink Mini is really the way to go for most users. It's got a smaller cost to get it to work up front, 12 volts from your van, it's a smaller footprint, it's lightweight, you can backpack with it, plenty of different options for powering it, even on a small USB power bank, things like that if you're out camping. The Generation 3 requires a lot to get it to work natively off of 12 volts. So it, even though the hardware cost from Starlink is less, it actually ends up costing you more with the mounts and the 12 volt conversions and the third party integrations that are required to make it work. So even though you could probably get some better speeds, potential better coverage because it is a larger dish and has more receivers, really, in our opinion, the barriers to entry don't outweigh the benefits. We really think that the Starlink Mini is the way to go. It's super easy. It doesn't take any other integration. You don't have to have some builder install the power supply, things like that. The 12 volt direct from the Mini is the way to go. All right, guys, that's it for the comparison of the Starlink Mini and the Generation 3. We hope you like this kind of content. If you guys have either the Starlink Mini or the Generation 3, let us know in the comments what your use case is, how you find using them. For us, we're gonna absolutely go with the Mini on our new demo van. We hope to see you on the next video.